from our SIS office. How can I help you? Yes, hi. My name is Paul Mancinelli. Uh, I'm a student in Raleigh, North Carolina. I was just calling today to uh, ask you if you were uh, aware of uh, your congressman's position on uh, Walter Jones, uh, actually from Greenville, not in my district, but recently uh, introduced resolution 107 expressing the sense of Congress that unauthorized military use without Congress's approval is an impeachable crime. Basically, come to Congress if you want to go to war. And uh, I know that would be handled by the Judiciary Committee, correct? I think so. Let me, um, are you wanting to know more information about this specific legislation, or are you wanting to know Congressman Smith's views on this? Uh, I would like to know, yeah, basically, what are his views on the war powers of the President and Congress? Okay. Um, let me ask one of our staffers. I'm not the right person to, you know, give, you, give um, the Congressman specific views. But let me ask one of our staffers. Sir, thank you for being patient. Um, I talked with um, our staffers, and this is something that's being handled directly in the Judiciary Committee. So the Congressman is aware of it, but um, you know he has not made up a decision or come out with a view yet. So of course, I completely understand that too. I studied political science. If he came out in favor or against, it would kind of be news, and it's not news at all, which is kind of weird. Yeah. But I would just ask you if you could just pass along to somebody. Uh, I'm a young man. I want to have a future in the Constitution of the United States. It's specific. It is not ambig ambiguous when it comes to war. And I know the War Powers Act has kind of changed things a little bit, but Obama didn't even do that with Libya. He just did what he wants. And I'm all about staying safe. I'm all about fighting terrorists. But mm -hmm. the Constitution isn't something I'm willing to sacrifice for al-Qaeda. Okay, so please relay that <laughs> of the most significant nature, like the House Judiciary Committee is in a very important position in like the place of history right now, if you ask me. We have to get that resolution passed to say, Mr. President, if you want to go to Syria, if you want to go into Iran, just come to us. If they go to the Congress and they vote for the war, so be it. Well, if we just allow our president to just take us to war whenever we want, we're not America, right? You agree? Sir, I'm not, I'm, I apologize, but I'm not here to um, offer my own personal <laughs> opinions. Okay, but you're where the, the Constitution says this and this about going to war, yes, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, that's all I'm going to say. So. Okay. And, and Congressman uh, Walter Jones is, is essentially uh, doing the same thing, just saying, please come to us, Mr. President. I think it's something everyone should support, regardless if you want to go to war or not. Just let's not throw away the Constitution. All right? Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Please pass that along for me. Yes, sir. Well, I will get your message to the Congressman. Have a good day. You too, sir. Bye. Bye-bye.